Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to explain a movie named The Call. Have you ever received a call from the past that could change your future? What if a single phone call would connect you to a serial killer from another timeline? And what if your wrong decision on a phone call led to a lifetime of regret? So get ready to get all these answers by joining us on a chilling journey through the dark and twisted world of The Call. Warning, spoilers ahead. In the starting scene, we see a girl named Seo Yeon who goes back into her childhood village and a guy drives her to her house. Her phone is lost so she can't answer the guy's question about her mother's health. When she gets to the home, she finds a cordless phone and plugs it in. Someone calls her and mistakes her for someone else, saying her mom is insane. Seo Yeon visits her mom in the hospital where she finds out about her mom having a brain tumor. She gets gets upset when her mom talks about being buried next to her dad. Seo Yeon goes back home and the mysterious phone call continues. She finds a hidden room and a box with a girl's journal and a photo. Seo Yoon learns the girl's name is Young Soo. The girl used to live in her house with her shaman stepmom. She sees a store with the name Sun Hee, the name the caller has been asking for. She gets another call where the woman screams before getting dragged away by her stepmom. During a struggle, her mom tries to burn her and accidentally sets the room on fire. Seo Yoon sees the smoke and fire coming from the hidden room and realizes that Young Soo is trapped outside there. Later on, Young Soo calls again and Seo Yoon reveals that she has her identity and found her photo. Young Sook is frightened when Seo Yeon reads a passage from her journal that matches the current day. Seo Yeon suggests that they are living in the same house but in different times. To prove her theory, she shows Young Sook a newspaper article about a plane crash that will happen that night. Meanwhile, Young Sook has dinner with her mother, who threatens her to send her back to the institution if she doesn't eat. After upsetting her mother, Young Sook sees the news report on the plane crash and contacts Seo Yoon again. They connect as Seo Yoon shares details about the future, such as her favorite musician's return and new technologies that Young Sook found unbelievable. When Young Sook reveals that her biological mother has passed away and the woman torturing her is her stepmother, Seo Yoon tells her about her own story about losing her father in a house fire caused by her mother's negligence. Later in November, Seo Young's family visits Young Sook's house to intention of buying it, but Seo Young and her family are shocked to find Young Sook's room and asking her stepmother to open the door. When Young Sook appears and recognizes them, she allows Seo Young to listen to her father's voice, which is an emotional moment for her since she hasn't heard in years. Young Sook comes up with an idea to save Seo Young's father from the fire. On the day her father was supposed to die, Young Sook escapes from her mother's house and travels to Seo Young's old house. In the past, younger Seo Young was watching TV while her mother was painting her nails and cooking lunch. When her mom left the house, Young Sook stole the key and went outside and started a fire. In the present, Seo Young gets her phone back and her burnt scars disappear. Suddenly, her house and herself start changing. She walks outside and sees a beautiful glass house garden where she meets her parents. She cries and hugs her dad, confusing her parents. Later, she calls Young Sook to thank her. Seo Young spends time with her parents and shares new music with Young Sook over the phone and they become close. However, one day, Seo Young can't call on the phone because she's with her parents and Young Sook gets angry because she doesn't call her back. As their conversation resumes, it becomes clear that something is amiss with Young Sook. Seo Young hears screams and the voice of Young Sook's stepmother warning her to stay away or she will suffer the consequences. In the past, Young Sook's stepmother attempts to exhaust her, believing it will help her. Despite Young Sook's pleas for her to stop, the stepmother continues using physical punishment and chants to try to get rid of whatever is possessing her. Young Sook apologizes, hoping to make her stepmother stop. Later, the stepmother visits Sun Hee's store and notices the wound on Young Sook's leg. In the present, Seo Young cannot resist the urge to search for Young Sook online. Despite not finding her on social media, she searches for her address and discovers a news report article that Young Sook died during an exorcism performed by her mother. Seo Young receives a call from Young Sook who tells her that she believes that she will die that night. In a panic, her stepmom grabs a knife from the aquarium and rushes to Young Sook's room, stabbing the bed where she believes she is sleeping. To her horror, Young Sook is not there and instead she finds herself being confronted by Young Sook, who incapitates her by a fire extinguisher and proceeds to kill her. This act awakens a desire for blood in Young Sook, so she calls Seo Young to tell her that she's okay and that she is feeling reborn. Young Sook is then shown outside of the house enjoying her newfound freedom by treating herself with a meal she likes and buying new clothes. In the present, Sung Goo arrives at Seo Young's house to deliver strawberries and the family warmly welcomes him. They express their gratitude for the delicious fruit and Sung Ho seems pleased to see them enjoying it. However, in the past, Sung Ho makes a different delivery to the house and Young Sook answers the door instead of Seo Young. She excitedly shows off her new clothes to him but when he asks about her mother, she changes the subject and leaves him alone in the den while she goes to fetch more items. Sung Ho heads to the kitchen to take care of the strawberries when he discovers a bunch of black plastic bags in the fridge emitting a fuel smell. As he moves on to make space for the fruit, he accidentally drops it on the floor realizing with horror that it contains body parts. At that moment, Young Sook appears in the basement wearing another outfit she wanted to show him. In the past, Sung Ho is shocked and scared when he finds out that the bag is filled with body parts in Young Sook's fridge. She becomes angry with him and disappears to another room to get fire extinguisher while he remains frozen in the kitchen. Meanwhile, in the present, Seo Young and her family are enjoying some tea with Sung Ho, chatting and savoring the delicious strawberries he brought for them. As Seo Young answers a phone call in her room, she overhears Young Sook's angry voice and Sung Ho sobs from the past. The call suddenly drops, leaving Seo Young uneasy. She returns downstairs to find that Sung Ho has disappeared and her parents have no recollection of him. 
concerned, she checks the refrigerator and visits her strawberry farm, only to recover it abandoned. She visits the local police station and inquires about Sung Hoo, but the younger police officer is unaware of him. The older officer, however, shocks Seung Young by informing her that Sung Hoo was murdered by Yung Suk at her home 20 years ago and shows her notes on her crime. In the past, the police came to Yung Suk's house to ask about Sung Hoo's disappearance, but they didn't know yet that she was the one who killed him. Yung Suk tries to deceive them by claiming that she doesn't know him and that her mother isn't around to confirm if she has seen him. However, the older police officer, who is the same one that Seo Young spoke to in the present, notices the inconsistencies in her responses. Despite her attempts to cover up her tracks, the cop still takes notes, making her uneasy. Yung Suk mentions a murder in the village, but the officer, although suspicious, decides to leave her house. Later, Yung Suk calls Seo Young as she throws out the body parts from her fridge. Seo Young picks up and immediately asks her if she killed Sung Hoo. Yung Suk lies to her, so Seo Young reads her newspaper, heading about the day she was arrested by the police as a serial killer and sentenced to life in prison. A life sentence doesn't sound too grand to Sung Yuk, so she drops the act, making it apparent to Seo Young that she really killed a strawberry farmer. Yung Suk then begins questioning Seo Young how the police found out that she committed the crime and tells her that she needed to know what happened so that she could prevent herself from her cat. She won't let Seo Young forget what she did for her and gets really angry when Seo Young keeps hanging up on her. Both women react very different to the whole situation, one is terrified and crying, unable to do anything from her, and while the other is angry and vengeful, dialing Seo Young's number over and over. The police officer continues to investigate Yung Suk, taking note of her mental health issues. While Yung Suk attempts to contact Seo Young from the future, she hears a knock at her door and finds her younger self and father looking for her stepmom, who was supposed to be there at the Hitler's office. Yung Suk invites them inside, claiming her stepmom must have fallen asleep. In the future, Seo Young is driving with her father and appears worried, but she insists that she is fine. Her father encourages her to be gentle with the pedal so that she does not spill the coffee, and Seo Young successfully follows his instructions. In the past, Yung Suk prepares to harm Seo Young's father as he waits for Seo Young in the den. However, when Yung Suk approaches, Seo Young is eating a strawberry and witness Yung Suk spraying her father with a fire extinguisher. In the present, Seo Young drives into a tunnel and watches her father slowly disappear before her eyes, causing the future to crumble away with the shadow of car glass. The younger Seo Young backs away from her father's blood in terror, while the older version of her wakes up in a tunnel without her father. Yung Suk approaches the younger Seo Young and blames her for her father's death, saying that it was her fault she was not answering the phone. In the present, Seo Young rushes back to her house and finds it in disarray. After that, she finds a chilling message written in blood on the floor instructing her to answer the phone. Despite her hesitation, Seo Young picks up the phone and Yung Suk taunts her for details of her father's murder, enraging Seo Young and prompting her to threaten Yung Suk. However, Yung Suk has the upper hand, having captured the younger version of Seo Young and threatening her to harm her mother unless Seo Young helps her to evade the police. Seo Young devises a plan to send Yung Suk to a location where she believes an accident will occur and kill her. However, Yung Suk narrowly escapes the explosion, leaving Seo Young to face her wrath. Yung Suk inflicts harm on both Seo Young's younger self and her own body, while also playing a voice message that reveals Seo Young's mother is coming after them. To make matters worse, Yung Suk accuses Seo Young of being responsible for her father's death, revealing that Seo Young turned the gas back on, mistakenly believing that she was turning it off. In the present, Seo Young is left with no choice but to break into the police station to retrieve the information she needs. She successfully gains access to the police officer's notebook and discovers that she has managed to capture Yung Suk by luring her into the location. Yung Suk kills the man who discovers the knife with the fingerprints and erases any trace of the information from the notebook except for the fact that Seo Young's mother visits the police station looking for her daughter. As Seo Young reads through the notebook, she witnesses the events of past unfold, with the police officer deciding to help Seo Young's mother by revealing the location where her husband and daughter were supposed to go. Suddenly, all the information about Yung Suk disappears from the notebook and the house begins to change once again. Seo Young flees from the house but continues to read about her mother and the police officer visiting Yung Suk home to reach for her and her father. Yung Suk lies about their whereabouts but Seo Young's mother finds her daughter's hair bow, prompting her and the police officer to search the second floor of the house. In the past, Seo Young's mother has had the idea to call her husband's phone to confirm his location. She uses Yung Suk's phone but instead of reaching her husband, she reaches her daughter in the future, warning her to leave her house. Meanwhile, in the past, Yung Suk kills a police officer in front of Seo Young's mother and demands the phone. As Seo Young's younger self calls on the phone, the older Yung Suk taunts Seo Young and the struggle ensues on the phone. Seo Young knocks on Yung Suk and grabs the phone, triggering a simultaneous chase in between the past and the present timelines. Yung Suk pursues Seo Young and her mother in both timelines, and they hide in the same room as Yung Suk tries to break into the door. Seo Young's mom suddenly calls the police, but Seo Young from the future instructs her to stay calm and find a weapon. Her mom grabs a fire extinguisher, removes the safety pin, and waits for Yung Suk to open the door. But Yung Suk from the past tricks the mom by placing her child in front of the door and calling for her, causing the mom to leave the room. Yung Suk attacks her with a knife, but Seo Young's mom manages to grab onto the knife and struggle with her. In the future, Seo Young sees blood on the walls as Yung Suk enters the room. However, before Yung Suk can harm the child, Seo Young's mom tackles her and they both fall over the railing. The older version of Yung Suk disappears in the future, leaving Seo Young alone in a desolate house. Later, Seo Young runs to the graveyard, believing her mom will be dead. However, her mom appears, smiling and asking her why she's crying. Seo Young is overjoyed to see her mom alive and realizes how wonderful she is. Finally, it emphasizes the importance of family and the lengths that a mother can go to protect her child. Seo Young's mother's bravery and selfishness is risking her own life to save her daughter is a powerful reminder of an unconditional love and support that a family can provide. Secondly, it shows the consequences of holding on to anger and resentment for too long. Yung Suk's inability to forgive and move on from her past ultimately leads her down into a path of violence and destruction. So that was all for today guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the content and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to show your support.